Welcome back, we're at it again. Piranha Technical Series. Today I have Ethan Keyes, a senior Piranha on his way to Lafayette College. He's gonna swim there. What we're gonna work on today is backstroke starts. Uh, what we have in the water right now is a touch pad and we're actually gonna use a wedge. Uh, we're gonna do it both ways. We're gonna do it both ways because um, most meets do not have wedges, although they are becoming more and more commonplace at some of the bigger meets. So what we'll start with, I'll have Ethan take the wedge, take the wedge out, put it in the gutter. Okay, we're just going to use uh, the touch pad, we're going to use just the gutter starts, we're going to start with just gutter starts, and we're going to progress to the bar. We like to start our younger kids out just in the gutter and start there. Not that we don't allow them to use the bar, but we want to make that as a progression and use that kind of on a case-by-case -case basis because what we find is sometimes using the gutter is just as good as the bar and they're not sitting there hanging and doing a chin-up before they start a race. So, And if I re recall, Ethan, you used the gutter for quite a while. Well into his high school years, he was still on the gutter. It was good for him. He felt it was a better start. I've had senior swimmers um, going into college using the gutter because they just felt it was better for them. So what we're going to start, we're going to use a gutter start. So our gutters aren't the best for gutter starts unless you have a touch pad. Uh, we don't have very much of a lift, but most gutters you can have something to grab. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in a ready position. He's going to get a good grab on as good as he can on the touch pad. I like to have his feet a little wider apart. Okay, about shoulder width apart, not too much. Uh, we're going to get your feet up a little bit higher, even though I know we're doing a gutter. And there are different ways to take your mark. And we're going to show you some of the different ways. Traditional way, take your mark, is head forward, bend elbows, kind of get your butt out, you know, keep your hips out. And I'm going to, we're going to go through the full start with this, right? Take your mark. Go! No matter what position, no matter if you use the gutter, or you use the bar, or you have a wedge. The goal is always get the head back between the arms. You don't want to throw the head back all the way back, because then you're going to almost get into a back flipping motion. So obviously the chin goes, the head goes back, and eventually it kind of straightens out. And then you get the head between the arms as the arms either come straight back or to the side. Either works. Um, I think it's on a, again, case by case basis with swimmers. But the goal is to get the hips up. Okay, get that back arch, get the hips out of the water. Regardless if you're on the gutter or using a bar. Okay, we're gonna use the gutter again, but this time I'm gonna have you kind of do more of this. Stand up, bring your hips in, head straight up, back straight. All right. Um, I don't know if Ethan realized he was gonna do this start, so I'm kind of maybe throwing the curveball a little bit. But we're gonna use that, that starting position, more of a straight up starting position from the gutter. All right, take the mark. All right, even more. Bring those hips in even a little bit more. There you go. All right, we'll see what he does from there. Take the mark. Go! Again, I didn't see a tremendous difference between that one, the first one, or that one. Again, starting positions have been experimented with, changed. Um, I remember I had a swimmer years ago. He usually bring his hips all the way in, in his back. And his head was all the way back, a little bit of a bend. I mean, it was almost halfway through his backstroke start before they even said go, because that was just the position he started. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to progress to the bar. Okay, we're going to progress to the bar. It's a regular bar start. And again, I like to get the feet as high on the wall as possible. Feet up higher. Your feet, your feet, your feet. A little, okay. Okay, even a little higher. I'll try them a little higher. There you go. As long as your toes are not curled over the edge or any edge, your feet could be out of the water as long as they're not curled over anything. I like high feet. We're going to get Ethan into a traditional starting position. You know, hips are going to be out a little bit, bending the elbow, head forward. We're going to see what the start looks like. Take the mark. Go! Doesn't get a huge arch, but he's pretty quick off the start and gets really good power and he's actually really, really good on the water. So we're going to come on back, and we're going to try a little bit more straight up, back stroke start, hips and more, go! 
I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I thought that start looked a little bit better than the first one without really looking at the film. Brittany, who was behind the camera, is nodding her head. Looked like you got off a little quicker with a little bit more power and a little higher arch, so you're actually out of the water a little bit more. So I'm gonna go, uh, we're going to go out of the box a little bit. Get back in that ready position and really drive the hips underneath and lean back. Okay. This is a start that I had a, okay, like almost where your back is. Head back. Bring your hip almost to your heels. There you go. We're going to try this starting position now. If you noticed, and you, hopefully you could see it on the film, his heels are almost pointed straight down. That is not the best position to be in because if you push, you might be pushing yourself down. So again, this is not for everybody. But I want to try. It. Let's try. It. Okay, try to get as much of your foot on the wall as possible. Take him, Mark. Lean back more. Hips under more. There you go. Take him, Mark. Go. Wasn't terrible, didn't notice anything special about it. But again, the many different starting positions, ultimately the goal again is power from the legs, head back into a streamline, getting the hips up. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have him put in the, um, we're gonna put the wedge in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to start with the wedge. Again, not every meat has wedges, some of our bigger meats, definitely even in state, have started using the wedge, so we're gonna, Go over, one, how to use it, two, we're going to see Ethan do a start. Ethan, let it back up. All right, so if you've never used one of these before, there's a little lever right on Ethan's right-hand side. He pulls the lever, he yanks down the wedge, and once it's down there, he has to put his feet on it. If not, it's going to come right back up. So it's kind of spring-loaded. If you let it go, it'll flip back up. So basically, there you go. So basically, you need to keep your feet on that just to keep it down. When you're using a wedge, some part of your foot must be on the wall slash touch pad. That is a rule. You cannot have your feet completely on the wedge. So we're gonna bring that wedge down, not so low, because you want your feet up a little higher on the wall. Okay. He's gonna put his feet on it. He's gonna get himself in a ready position. And you're gonna do your start. This is Ethan Key's start. All right. Take him on. Go! The wedge, the wedge definitely helps you from slipping, okay? It's not the be-all, end-all, but we definitely start working with these towards the end of the season because we know some of the pools we go to will have a wedge to use. We're going to try that wedge again. And you're going to go with that straight back, start that we worked on earlier. Remember, hips come in. Hips come underneath your body. Take them, Mark. Go! Not bad. Looks like he got out of the water a little bit more. Looks like he also went a little deeper, which is not bad for him because he has a really great underwater shimmer. So it's not a horrible thing for him. So, all right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. One more start. Any way you want to do it, whatever you feel comfortable with. Catch his underwater. Shimmer it out, too. Take All right, that was a good looking backstroke start and shimmer. All right, so this is Hank, um, Brittany behind the phone, Ethan in the water. Thank you very much, signing off, and here we go, the return of our Piranha Drill Series, excuse me, Piranha Technical Series.